theme of flow, but water in and of itself is notable here because it seems to be a barrier between humanity and the Great Ones in some capacity. It seems like it's an important step to ascension, and so we saw Willem meditating by the lake, and in the research hall we come to see patients whose heads have been surrounded by water in an attempt to make them have insights into the cosmos. Another place water is seen is in the Loch Shield, which can be looted from this area, and the Lake Carroll runes. Loch is just an old timey way of saying lake, and it's a great way to defend yourself against arcane attacks, and the lake runes all give some sort of damage reduction as well. The Great Lake Runes description reads, A secret symbol left by Carol, runesmith of Bergenworth, this transcription of the Great One's inhuman voices ripples like a watery reflection. This rune means lake, and those branded by it enjoy augmented defense. Great volumes of water serve as a bulwark guarding sleep and an augur of the Eldritch truth. Overcome this hindrance and seek what is yours. And it should also be noted that after defeating Rom, the moonside lake at Bergenworth teleported us to Yahargul, and that in Yahargul we could find giant water carrying urns which we could use to teleport. Water is the barrier between worlds.